Two homicides in Birmingham today alone have left the city just three homicides away from breaking the all-time record. As WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough explains, Birmingham struggles to find a solution to overcome this crime. Birmingham police say a man died Sunday morning after being shot in the 400 block of 4th Street in the Titusville community, the city's 137th homicide of the year. Then Sunday night, a person was shot and killed in the 1500 block of Tuscaloosa Avenue Southwest, the 138th homicide of the year. Something one activist says is upsetting, but not surprising. Young man told me, uh, Mr. Traveling Shoes, you did my brother's vigil. It's sad that I'm, I'm, I'm famous because I do over 50 to 60 candlelight vigils in a single year for somebody's son or somebody's daughter. I'd rather be able to get them their children back. Birmingham police say of the 138 total homicides this year, 128 have been actual murders. 10 were ruled justifiable and therefore no criminal charges were filed. The record is 141 homicides set back in 1991. There's a huge problem in the city of Birmingham. It's specifically violent crime and, and crime involving firearms. Um, that is no secret. City leaders say while the city has moved forward in a lot of ways over the past decade, there is still a lot of work to be done where crime is concerned. I think that honestly the silver bullet to crime is education and economic opportunity. Those are things that take time to solve. Some activists say some young people think they're destined to fall victim to violence and need motivation for the future. And this young man said, my mother buried my brother in a suit and I told my mother, when they come and kill me, bury me in my Jordans, my Kobe Bryant jersey, and my Los Angeles Lakers cap. So here's a kid, 16 years old, telling me about funeral arrangements. Instead of talking about a future, in Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.